Hi guys, this is going to be really quick and I'm not going to edit. Um, Sharon asked before what Easter was like in Ireland, so I thought before it's way not Easter anymore. I'll just quickly give a run through. Um, the majority of people living in Ireland are Catholic, and if they're not practicing Catholic, they're christened into the Catholic Church usually. It's, yeah, I would say nearly 80-90% of people living in Ireland are Catholic. So yes, I'm going to go from that angle of Easter in Ireland. Um, 40 days before Easter we have Ash Wednesday, where the palm from the previous year's Palm Sunday is burnt and then the ash gets like blessed on your forehead and you get a little cross and you go about your business that day having a smudge on your forehead and everyone knows if you've been to Mass or not, it's kind of funny. And yeah, so for 40 days we make a Lenten promise, you either give something up or you take something on, so you either like, I don't know, give up eating sweets or like take up reading to deaf people or something. What? That doesn't even... Anyway. Yes. Then Easter week, the week before Easter Sunday, is always really jam-packed with church stuff. And the Sunday is Palm Sunday, so that's when Jesus came into the city and all the palm was thrown out in front of him. So we all get like a piece of palm and you bring it home and it's supposed to be blessed and stuff. It's nice. Um, then on Tuesday or Wednesday, usually there's um, confession in church. So you go and you're like, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been blah, blah, blah since my last confession. And then you tell him what you did wrong and he tells you to say how many prayers or go reconcile with your long lost brother Martin, that kind of stuff. And then on the Thursday we have this really nice ceremony where we kind of redo the last supper. So we have people who are the disciples up on the altar and their feet get washed. And it's really symbolic and I like it. I've never volunteered to have my feet washed, although they always ask for volunteers. I'm just like, no. That's not me, homie, that's not me. But yes, and then on the Friday, we do the Stations of the Cross. So we have 12 stations up, it's, it's 12, isn't it? Yeah. Up around the church, and you can either physically move with the pr procession from like one station to the next station, be like, this is where Jesus fell, this is where somebody wiped his face, that stuff, the whole way around the church, where you can just sit and pray in your seat, and there's like responses and stuff that you have to say to what the priest says. Um, yes, and all the statues of Jesus that day are covered in purple cloths and then no music or bells are played from the church until Saturday evening when it's the big Easter vigil mass. Um, and yeah, that's really, really cool. There's like this giant fire, um, planned fire in the back of the church. Everyone gets a little candle and this big prayer is said at the at the fire and then the fire is carried up to the front of the church and everyone's candle is lit off the one big fire. It, so I'm in the choir so I sit up on a balcony and I can literally see like the fire being passed out from the centre. It's really, it's really nice. Um, it's supposed to be like the light of Christ being spread among us. And it's lovely. Um, usually there's a christening as well. Like we welcome a child into the church but I don't know. We, um, we've changed it up this year so they were done the next morning. Um, because there's Easter Sunday Masses as well, but you, you know, you pick one, I pick the night one because there's fire, you know. Um, but yes, and then Easter we have a nice big dinner and we eat chocolate. Um, I think in terms of churchy stuff, Easter is nearly more dramatic than Christmas. I think it's more important, but um, it's not really like, it's not a huge holiday for everyone, you know? All I'm saying, you get a lot of chocolate. And it's really hyped up around the place, you know, like chocolate this, chocolate that, bunny this, chicken that, you know. Cool. Well, there you go. Sound. Okay, I'll see you guys next week and I'll answer all the questions I missed. Um, question, question, question. Uh, question, question, question. Uh. Right, I don't have one. Okay. Shite, bye. Okay, love you.